Hello, my name is John McDonald. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist at Texas Orthopedics, the division of Ortho Lone Star in Austin, Texas, here to talk to you today about some uh, basic anatomy of the knee. We want, to, we want to demystify some of our terms today and run through some of the basics of the functions and uh, the uh, places in the knee where injury commonly occurs. One of the first things we start with is the cartilage. It's the purplish stuff in this picture. It's white in real life and it caps the end of the bone and protects it. And when that protective coating wears down, we call that arthritis. There are four major ligaments, the pieces of rope that help hold the knee together. And on this model, this is a right knee, it sits on the picture like this. The medial collateral ligament is on the inside part of the knee. It is a nice, big, robust ligament with an excellent blood supply. The lateral collateral ligament is on the outside part of the knee. Both of these two side ligaments help control stress from one side to the other to provide stability. If we look in the middle of the knee, the anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL, is here. And in the back of the knee, the PCL, or posterior cruciate ligament, it, those two ligaments cross in the middle of the knee and help provide rotational support for the knee. This is a right knee, it sits like this on this picture, and in this model, the meniscus is a C-shaped structure. There is one on the medial side or the inside part of the knee, and there is one on the lateral side or the outside part of the knee. And these two structures act like a shock absorber or cushion between the two bones. They are commonly injured with twisting or pivoting maneuvers where the meniscus can get pinched and torn. That can lead to swelling, catching, locking, sometimes mechanical symptoms, and a feeling of stiffness, painful uh, deep squats, and sometimes in hyperextension where your knee gets all the way straight. Hope you enjoyed this basic anatomy of the knee review. If you have specific questions about your injury, uh, I'd encourage you to talk to your orthopedic surgeon in detail about it. Some of these structures we reviewed today can be treated when they're injured non-operatively. Sometimes they need a surgery to be fixed and your specific details would best be discussed with your orthopedic surgeon. Hope you have a great day.